From the Up Up Coast Studios in Oklahoma City, this is an OU Update. I'm Jenny Carlson. The NFL Draft ended over the weekend and several Sooners did not get drafted, but they got picked up as undrafted free agents by NFL clubs around the country. Barry Trammell joins <coughs> us on the phone to talk about a couple of those guys. And Barry, probably the most surprising guy that was not drafted ended up being an unsigned or a, a, a undrafted free agent that got signed was Tony Jefferson. Why did he drop and, and what do you think about him signing with the Arizona Cardinals? Well, I mean, Tony Jer Jefferson, uh, I think uh, what people found is that he's not a big guy, uh, stays hurt quite a bit, and in the NFL today, you got to be physical with the safety. I mean, you got if you're 190 pounds, you're playing corner in the NFL. You can't. The safeties today, uh, they're the size of linebackers in the old days. So um, you, you got to, a guy built like Tony Jefferson is not likely to make it at safety. And uh, so uh, I think uh, when he didn't run that well and uh, was injury prone, I think the, the scout said, "Want oh, this guy? Is, you know, can't get done." So I don't know if for him to leave early. Some people are just tired of school, ready to move on with their life. And if that's the case with Tony Jefferson, then you know he's been fine with his decision. But if he left because he thought he was going to be a high draft pick, then I think he made a, a fairly major dis uh, mistake. Does he have a chance to catch on with the Cardinals, Barry? Well, the, uh, you know, I don't know. Um, I think it's going to be very tough. Uh, you know, Tony had some great plays. He didn't really seem to uh, oh, improve that much over his freshman year. You know, he got burned quite a bit in the West Virginia game when Stedman Bailey and uh, Tavon Austin ran all over the place. So uh, I think that scared off a lot of people. Um, I, I think it's going to be tough. It's tough for any free agent to make a roster. Um, Cardinals have a pretty good defense. Uh, I think it's probably uphill for Tony Jefferson. Is Demontre Hurst another guy who faces a big uphill battle? He was obviously a, a mainstay in the Sooners secondary as a defensive back. He went undrafted, now signed as a free agent. Uh, how big of a climb does he have to make a roster? Well, I mean, I, the thing about Demontre, he's a very technically solid corner. Not a great speed guy, athletic guy, but he, he knows how to play the position. The one thing I think that's tough on uh, a guy like DeMontre Hurst, he didn't do a lot on special teams at Oklahoma. And uh, if you're an undrafted free agent, you got to make your mark in places like special teams as well as being able to supplement the defense. So uh, I, 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 would, uh, I would make that a priority if I was DeMontre Hurst or Javon Harris or any of these guys who signed free agent contracts. You know, that special teams route is often the way it is to get on the field. So um, I, I would make that a priority for any of these ex-sooners. All right. Thanks, Barry. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma. Hey.